The kicker's six, got the ball set ten. up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He has some room. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Makes it to the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Slings it. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. And he's tackled at the 31. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From the 35-yard line, second down. He's tackled right around the 20. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From the 20-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. It's the ninth play of the drive. Hey, watch the lane. Mike Sick, 33. 33. And he might want it all here and does. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Maryland, the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Go. 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 And they make the stop at the 34. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Check 
He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, UConn! Great explosion, and he got it into the end zone in a flash. Boy, this guy's got incredible speed, but his ability to find daylight is just as impressive. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Connecticut to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seems to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Brought down at the 26. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Tackle around the 43-yard line. And he's met in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. They go to the ground game. Makes it out to about the 43. So the run goes for another first down. And Kirk, they're really having some trouble stopping this kid on this drive. The offense is just winning the battle up front. Right now, the defense knows the run is coming. They just can't stop it. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 42. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. Here comes the pressure. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of seven yards on the way. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. They're about four yards away here on second down. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! And down he goes at the 29. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 31. Offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailbacks plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down. From their own 38-yard line, first down. We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one.
Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. Red, connect. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Black let's five, go. black five. Green, 15. On three, on three. Motion, motion, motion. Makes it out to about the 49. That last carry puts him over the century mark for the game. You just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. Dog four. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Motion, motion. Yellow go. Throws, and he's right there to knock it away. I don't think the quarterback read the zone properly. The linebacker was in a great spot to make a play on the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill, kill. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Makes the catch and look out. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Number 19 makes the tackle from the 31 yard line. First down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Black five. There's a strike complete. He's down. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. Seven, two. Red seven, red seven. Motion, motion, motion. They'll knock him down for a loss. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Going for it all to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Down the extra point. Connecticut yet set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. But this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Taken down at the 28. He knows how to run. Inside the 30 to the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Your point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A quick two play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. 14 apiece. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. 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 Tackle.
tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 32. He's pushed out of bounds. First down. From the 46 yard line, first down. With a quick throw. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Looking for his man, incomplete. Complete. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up third and ten. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 42. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Let's go, let's go. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Throws it deep. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Clear. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. They're about four yards away here on second down. A little toss across the middle. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. He's tackled at about the 49. Scrambling. No one open 
Evans, who he's going to run. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 24. From the 24-yard line, second down. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That's a loss of seven yards. Third down. He's hit and taken down. He's going to try and scramble. The 10 slides down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. A great first half comes to a close. 17-14, Terrapin. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When you have the spectacular high-definition sets that we enjoy here in the studio, it's easy to just watch the ball all the time. But how about the precision with which these two offensive lines executed in the first half? We do watch the ball, but when you watch the ball run down the field four or five yards without getting touched, <laughs> you know that somebody's doing a good job, and it's pretty simple. You, you point to those big five ugly guys up front that don't get a lot of recognition because most of the time they have their helmets on and they're, they're sloppy and they don't talk a lot, and it's because the media doesn't want to talk to them a lot, but just such a great job of uh, plowing holes, making the lanes big, and you could drive a truck through half the hole so far that they've been able to open up. So. Kudos to the big boys up front for making those holes. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Brad, right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Second down and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Booming kick. Gets to about the 27-yard line. For Connecticut, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. They're set to go for another round. Four down, four down. Mike check, 33. Maryland has a three-point lead. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. 
Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. That Ball on the 27. Four down, four down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Watch him. Go, go. Caught with room to work. Out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Got the corner. That'll make it 39. That's a great tackle at the 17. That's a loss of 12 yards on the play. Fourth down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pitch left. Lost the ball. Fumble. Heading for the corner. And that fumble is going to cost him. At this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Green nine, green nine. And here's a quick throw. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. That's a game of 26 on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. Let's go. Run, run, run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call a game of six yards. That'll make it seven and four. these guys up on top and he adds the extra point a short three play 41 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown the score now 21 17 Connecticut ready to kick this one off he sends this one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This defensive end has been a force, Kirk. This is one of those performances that the guys back in the studio in Bristol are going to be talking about all night long. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block him. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it to the 25-yard line. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Down of bounds at the 49. He gets 
hit out of bounds around the 40 yard line. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. Second down and five. Ball on the 17 yard line. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. Connecticut is up by four. Ready. The running back gets two on the carry. They line up at the 12. Second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Red two. Go. Throws this one out to the left, and it's picked off. Fumble. Get a little sloppy here with the ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. Quick pass. And he's taken down at about the 41. That's a seven yard gain. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Makes it out to about the 33. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He's on the run. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Go! 628! Check, check, alert, alert, alert! Check, over, over, over! A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Huskies lead it by four. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Mike six, 33, 33. He's gonna air it long, and it's intercepted. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own eight-yard line, first down. Connecticut is up four. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Man, 
left, man, left. Four down, four down. 47, Mike, 47, Mike. Mike, 47. Green nine, green nine. X seven. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. Check, check 43. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red seven, red seven. 53. Here we go. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. With third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. Tackle made at about the 31. Short yardage situation here, second down and one. Nice run there as they work the outside. Gain of six yards. First down. Three down, three down. Three down, Let's go, let's go. Go ahead, two. Green eight. Pulsar. Go He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Connecticut holds a four-point lead. And he hits him hard at the 29. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Check the outs up there. Three down, three down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow three! Connect. Yellow Wants to throw outside. Almost intercepted. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this try. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Hot, hot, 268. 
Under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gives it left side. Gets out to about the 31. Maryland's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 31. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The Terrapins call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number three. Run, run, run. Runs it left for a decent game. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That's a deal 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and goal. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. 20. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The Huskies know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should be good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.